Hello and welcome to Hobby Vlog number 194, I think. I'm recording this actually a week ago, uh, as I said at the end of the last vlog. As you watch this, if you watch it when it's published, I will be at Articon and I will have done no hobby during the week because I'm going to be away from the Tuesday uh, and Monday I'm not going to hobby. So yeah, I decided, I've been thinking about this for a little while, I decided to put together a short video showing off all of the projects currently in progress. Uh, now it would be really fun for me if you could pop a comment below, let me know how many you think there are going to be and I will let you know at the end how many there are. And as I stand here recording this intro, I don't actually know because I haven't yet counted them out. So um, I'll be uh, just as interested as you when I get to the end of the video to see how many there are. So yeah, drop that comment below, let me know how many you think um, I'm going to uh, end up on and you can see at the end of the video if you were right. So thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Normal service will resume next week, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I will see you at the end of the video with the final count. What better place to start than with the Epic Lake build? <laughs> and yes, Chris, it is still ongoing. Thank you for asking in the comments last week. Uh, and I have been working on it a little bit uh, since the last time it appeared on camera. Um, as you can see, the edge has been sanded down a fair bit, but it's a very dusty process and uh, that's why I've stopped so far. If you go over here onto my gaming table, you can see just how much dust there is everywhere. Yeah, it's not the most enjoyable thing in the world, but maybe I'll get back to this when I get back from Articon and try and get all of that sanded off because it probably is only another two or three nights of effort and then it will be done and then I can actually get, get cracking on and finish this off, which would be awesome. So this is project number one and uh, it is the longest running one I think that I've got. Um, I've been working on it for very, very many years. Um, and uh, yeah, really should get finished soon. So yeah, maybe this will in inspire me to, uh, to get going. So there we are, project number one. I don't have to move very far to find project number two. This here is actually part of an unofficial challenge on the TCU Discord um, and uh, is something I would also really like to get finished. I've been having a lot of fun when I was building this and it's just been sat now for months, not been touched. It's going to be a hideout in a hill and um, it's going to be lots of layers that you're able to lift off and play. Um, you can just see down there, there's where the, one of the entrances is. And yeah, I've put a lot of effort into it a lot of time and um, yeah, then just ran out of steam, as you all know. But it's sitting here next to the giant lake and will eventually be worked on. That's project number two. Project number three is something that you've not seen anything of yet because this goes back to my Battle Games in Middle Earth videos, which I used to do once a month and then do once every two months. And now I've not done one for about a year because this stalled. So the actual build was the, if that'll focus, the orc boats. And you can see those down there. And what I decided I was gonna do was gonna do a one second scale model of Orthanc, Saruman's Tower. So you've not seen anything to do with this project um, yet I'd have all the clips and I really need to get back to it because I want to keep building through those because yeah well I was doing so well and then again it stalled again burnout but maybe when I have to come back from Articon now that Tawny is a little bit less of a pain um, I'll be able to get back to doing this and get some get my um, my orc boats finished and get my 172 scale orthanc done so there we are a little glimpse into the side of the hobby that I have as well, the other side of the videos that don't make the vlogs normally. Let's see if it can actually be done and put out as a video. Well, here's another one that I thought wouldn't take so long to finish. So the station, which is gonna go here on Rosie's uh, model railway, still hasn't been done. I was gonna do that as a, um, a collaboration. That collaboration is probably not gonna happen now. So I just need to get myself together, measure up and start working on it. And then I can actually finish this. Not that we've actually run trains in it for ages, which is another sad thing. We've been outside and doing other bits and pieces, which is fine, but hopefully coming into winter, we can spend a little bit more time on this. I can finish this, um, this, this, the station, get all the terrain done, and then me and Rosie can run trains in it again, because I love doing that, and so does she. So yeah, we'll try to get back to it. But anyway, that's project number four. I'm losing track already. <laughs> project number five is this, which is the giant, um, Theatre, puppet theatre. So this is waiting on Rosie finishing the backdrop, which will happen while I'm away next week, and me building legs, which will happen when I get back. So I think I'm just gonna have to cut the, um, get, get my you know, guts together and make a legs out of wood and do some, arch so do some proper kind of like woodwork. So um, yeah, that will be happening in, um, as soon as I get back from the, from the break, from, from, from Articon. And I try and get this all finished because the backdrop should be done. And then we can try and do some little uh, videos of Rosie doing her puppet shows, which should be quite awesome. Uh, so yeah, this is just sat outside room 13, causing a ginormous mess, 
I'll probably try and tidy it up before I go away. Project number six is the Orbs diorama, which has just sat here gathering dust. Basically, I ran out of steam with doing the books. Um, so again, it's just another one of those things where I just need to give myself a shake, get another hundred or so books painted up, and then I can um, then I can then I can finish it off because the interest is in what's left, which is actually positioning the uh, pieces on the on the layout so positioning the the people and the other uh, bits and pieces i want to make uh, but yeah for now it's just stalled because of just can't be bothered to paint uh, the paint paint the um the books project number seven is actually a bit of remedial work this awesome diorama i did ages ago the backdrop is peeling off so i need to re-glue that probably use my epically super sticky glue because obviously the pva which i did use has just not held it at all so that's project number seven, which will have to be done at some point. Project number eight is another bit of remedial work. Unfortunately, the glue that was holding the big dropship onto these two things here actually broke. And so it landed on its, on its, it fell forwards, which is okay. It's going to be easy enough to fix. I just need to find time and work out how I'm going to do it. I do have some colored hot glue, so I might use some colored hot glue to glue it in place and that might hold it a bit better. But yeah, another bit of fixing to be done there. Now we're on project number nine, and this one really is quite close. So um, the mouse has been primed, I just need to paint him, put him in place, and then get the writing done on the on the, on the uh, road. Um, I am thinking about asking Angela to do that because she's got better handwriting than me. But that is project number nine, which hopefully will be finished soon. Project number 10 is the SR71. Now I have been working away on this a little bit, doing the... Um, uh, transfers as you can see but it's not it's been several months since i've touched it so um yeah just need to get the transfers done and then i can work on the, i can get that finished pretty quickly once i've got the transfers done but it's making time to do that that's proven to be difficult project number 11 is my little diorama that i'm doing for the um vietnam war so the ov10 and everything that's inside this box now this is going to come to, with me to belgium um, i'm going to go on another business trip for a week and so this will reappear then um, uh, as one of my other little vlogs on the road uh, and i'm going to try to get that finished and assembled in that week but we shall see whether i do it or not but anyway at least i've got a plan for when i'm going to work on this one i'm losing count of how many projects i've got again but this one i think it's 12 is rogan's bar and bunkhouse which i started a little while ago as part of my trying to kick start my mojo and then just stopped again <laughs> so uh yeah i need to get back to that one i've not i'm um, basically i'm looking the next step i believe is making the door um, and at the point i got to that it was way too fiddly for me and way too much um hard work for me to kind of keep my hands steady i wasn't feeling very well so i put it to one side and i've just never picked it up again so that should hopefully come back in relatively soon after articom Project 13 is Quick Beam, which I've just finished assembling, so that one is actually moving forwards. I now need to get that down, get that primed and painted, and then do some basing. So yeah, that's actually moving forwards probably as quickly as any of these projects are. Right, next one, 15, is the Black Dragon Warriors, which I have assembled and primed, and they have just sit, sat there since I primed them and have not been painted. I also have the two heroes over here, so that's Brogir and Rutabi. Um, so I will call that one project. They just need to be, they're all primed, they just need to be painted. Is this project 16, I think? These just need to be based. I mean, this is how difficult I've been finding it to get things done. That I've got these all the way to the end where they're on their bases, they're all painted, they look great. And all I need to do is put some bases on them and they've just sat there. So I really should probably get those done very soon after I get back from Articom. Project 17, we're down in the workshop. And this is me changing my tiles that I've made to be a regular size. So I've made a good bit of progress on this and then look at how much dust there is sitting on this, which tells you how long it is since I've touched it. Again, just need to shake myself and put it on the priority list and get it done. I've got lots and lots of tiles that I've made already. And once I've got these all at a standard size, I can make lots more and that'll be a really nice way of having some very flexible terrain to play some games on. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it just hasn't been touched probably for about four months since I even looked at these. Now this is one that really upsets me. So here's the first print I did on my um, Prusa and then it clogged and then I've not touched it for about a year. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I've even bought the spare parts, which are here um, and I should just get to it and try to repair it and I just never do. Um, it's fear that I don't repair this one. Um, I'm scared of breaking it. I'm scared of the fact that I might not be able to repair it and then it will just turn out to have been 
a big waste of money. Um, I'm not sure what to do other than that, just to get, to get in there and try and repair it. Uh, I really want to use it. I want to get things printed out on this. I spent a lot of money on it and on the enclosure. I probably will have to throw this reel away now because it's been sat outside through winter and summer. And so it's almost certainly got the wrong, uh, it's got too much moisture in it, so it probably won't work now anyway. So that's a huge amount of waste there. I just need to get this done, but yeah, fear is a thing, eh? Yeah, I can't remember what number I'm up to now. I'm going to have to count them as I edit it. <laughs> but this is my station four figures. So these are ones I started painting to try and get them ready so I can play, try and play a game. As you can see, I've got quite way through the base colours. There's, what, four there that I've not yet started base colours on, but it's probably been three or four months since I've touched them. So I've just not been coming to the bench to do any painting. I've just not gone anywhere near it. And um, it's just sat down here. I've done little bits and pieces when I've had to paint, like, for example, for Articon, but I've not felt the love for it, so I've uh, kind of like stayed away. So these are the sta uh, Station 4 figures, and I'll get back to these at some point, I'm sure. Over here, also down at the painting bench, I did the epic day where I painted like 50 or 60 miniatures. These are the heroes. <laughs> so this is how much it just kind of stopped. So I've made the heroes, they're sat here. I've even started, put some base, put some skin tones on some of them, and they just need to be painted as well. So there's another project that's sitting here kind of waiting and I suppose I'll, I'll call this as part of the same project. I've also got the ruins up here which I've started painting and haven't touched so that's kind of all part of the same project as well and eventually I'm sure I'll get that done but um, yeah I just need to make time. I mean I'm going to blame Tawny, make an excuse. It's been taking up all of my time. Maybe now I'll be able to come back down here for half an hour a day and just do half an hour a day painting and get a lot more done. In the same kind of theme here, we have the um, Goblin King, Throne of Goblin, which I started, I've based, and then I've just not finished painting it. So again, just need to get down here for a few minutes every day, and that will be very quickly finished, and that'll be another project done. But yeah, really have lost count of how many projects there are now. Uh, <laughs> uh, many, I think, just many. Another one that I started, never did anything on really, is uh, this, which is the giant from, I um, can't remember, Mantic Games, I think. Uh, again, assembled, primed, just not painted. Again, just need to get down here and finish it off, get some time. Uh, I am thinking about using this as my practice model for my Vallejo um, speed paints, which are still in a box behind me, untouched, never even looked at them again. So that might motivate me to do both that and this together, but we'll see how that goes. And last but not least down here is the dragon. So again, I have made some progress on this. I do some fun painting with Tim, and often this is one that I'll pick up when I'm doing my painting chats, which is about the only time I ever do any proper painting. This has come in a little way, but it's still a long way off. It's just got base colors and blocks. It needs a lot of work on it. Um, but yeah, just another project that's sitting by the wayside, not being worked on. I need to get it finished. Last and very much not least, we have the Not Lego Tiger Tank which isn't really a stalled project because I'm working on it actively with Rosie, but it is a project I'm working on, so I really should include it in this list. So yeah, there we are. That is all of the projects. So now I'm gonna go and edit and count how many there are. I think definitely over 20, and then we'll wrap it up and uh, we'll see. It'll be interesting to read the comments and see if anyone guessed right. So did you guess? Were you counting along? <laughs> I lost count while I was going around, honestly lost count. Um, so um, yeah, do put your guess below, I'll wait and then I'll announce the final count. So the final count of clips on this video is 23. That's 23 projects, and I think I've probably forgotten a few. Um, I'm sure I've forgotten a few, uh, but uh, yeah, 23 there that are currently on my mind as something I could do, and that just goes to show that this isn't all about, about anything about not having anything to do. It's all about motivation, um, and um, hopefully it will be dragged out of that very soon, out of that little pit, and that doesn't include this wall behind me. Now this is my uh, games and on the top here we've got these two big boxes up here are full of Middle Earth SPG. One box is good, one box is evil. We've got more Middle Earth SPG next to it. I've got miniatures galore. I've got you know, just unbelievable amounts of stuff that I could work on here. I'm not running out of things to do. So anyway, what is your mountain of opportunity looking like? I'd be fascinated to hear if you want to pop a comment below. Fascinated to hear what you what your pile of unfinished projects looks like. Are you as bad as me? Worse? That would be awesome. Or do you think it's crazy that I have so many projects on the go without finishing and you finish one and then start the next one and never have even more than one on the go at any one time? It'd be really interesting to hear. So do let me know uh, in the comments below. 
So thanks for watching. Hopefully right now I'm winning at my games of SBG. I'm probably not. I'm not very good at it, but I'm going to be having a good laugh and smiling the whole time, and that's what matters. So fingers crossed while you're watching this, I'm having a good time, and I'll see you again in two weeks for me, but next week for you. And thank you very much for watching, and I will wrap up. I'm presuming that this time next week I'll still need to say that uh, if any of you are impacted by the horrific war and events in Ukraine, then my heart does go out to you and anyone that you know who might be in that horrific situation. Just uh, tr tremendously sad. And uh, to everyone, please do stay healthy, stay safe and stay well.